Hello and welcome to the final heat of Mastermind, the end of our quest to find the mastermind of the United Kingdom and the end of a long intellectual trail for our two finalists. <laughs> As usual, the rules are perfectly straightforward. Anyone who cannot answer a question may pass and then I go right on to the next question. The contestant with the fewest number of passes and the highest number of correct answers will be Mastermind 1974. And now let's get right down to business and may we have the first contestant, please. Your name, please. Ellie Wise, Harrow University, Professor of English Literature. <laughs> Professor Wise, the final round, as always, is on general knowledge. And you have one minute on general knowledge questions starting now. What is the wheel arrangement of a prairie locomotive? 262. Correct. When the ring was given its first performance at Covent Garden in 1892, who was the conductor? Marla. Correct. Charles Dodson wrote a famous book. What is the name of the book and his pen name? Alice in Wonderland, Lewis Carroll. Correct. Who wrote Old Meg, She Was a Gypsy? Keats. Correct. Noel Coward's play, Still Life, was made into a film under the title... Brief Encounter. Correct. Sergeant Troy is a character in a novel... Far From the Madding Crowd. Correct. By Thomas Hardy. They do say... Edward Heath. Correct. In 1954... Roger Bannister. Correct. Under a law dating back William to the Pitts. year... Correct. It, it was said of this Capability man... Capability Brown. Correct. And that brings us to the end of your round, Professor Wise. And if we look at the scoreboard, we see that you have scored... Maximum ten points. Yes, I thought I would. Thank you, Professor Wise. May we have the next contestant, please. Can he some questions here? Yeah, sure, there, didn't he? Maximum points. Tell look, he stabs in the dark. Maximum Next contestant, please. <laughs> and your name, please? Uh, Eric Morecambe, Milverton Street School, Infants. <laughs> Morecambe, the final round, as with your fellow finalist, is on general knowledge. Your general knowledge questions start now. Can you finish the following? Little Bo Peep has lost her... Cardigan. No, has lost her sheep. And what is a cardigan made from, sir? Wool. And do we get wool from sheep? Yes, that's correct. Thank you. That's one for me, please. <laughs> please remain seated, Professor Wise. He's not allowed to object, is he, sir? Correct. That's another one for me. Put it up. Really, it's just got too much, and he hasn't answered the question right yet, Professor Mr. Professor Wise, please try to remember where you are. Now, Mr. Morgan, here is your next question. Who won the FA Cup in 1930? <coughs> Arsenal! Correct, Arsenal. Wait a minute, that was an accident. That's all wrong. That was a flagrant disregard of the rules. Professor Wise, please, as chairman, I'm the person who decides whether the rules are being disregarded or not. <laughs> this right. contest will be conducted in a seemly and a proper manner. Oh. This isn't a bingo hall, is it, sir? Too right. Too right. That's five altogether. Pull them up. Please, I object. One Mr. more outburst, Professor Wise, and I may be forced to disqualify you. Now, your next question, Mr. Morgan. Can you tell me the name of Shylock's wife? Mrs. Shylock. Oh. Wait a minute. That wasn't her name. It must be Mrs. Shylock a feast. Mr. Shylock, that yeah. must be... Mr. McNamanus didn't mean that. But technically, he is correct. Correct. Put another one up for me. <laughs> All right, let's go on to the next question. In which coach does a queen travel when she opens Parliament? The one used by the reigning monarch for the opening of Parliament. No, it's the Irish state coach. Yes, but is that, sir, or is it not the one used by the reigning monarch for the opening of Parliament? Yes, that's correct. That's another one. Put it up. <laughs> well, he didn't answer that question correctly. When he... he... He did say that it was a coach used by the reigning monarch, and I really must accept that. Yeah, but if he doesn't know the right answer, he should say pass. Professor Wise, I really must ask you for the last time to try to contain yourself. Uh... A man in your position ought to know better. Where did you say you taught? Harrow University. Did he say Harrow University? That's correct. That's another one. Put it up. <laughs> Your next question on general knowledge. Mr. Morecambe? Correct. Put that one up as well. <laughs> he didn't answer that correctly either. He's got nine marks. He should have said pass. He didn't know the answer. Yes, I take that point. Now, now look, Mr. Morecambe, I think that I must remind you that if you don't know the answer to a particular question, you must say pass. I fully understand. Next question, please. Are you quite sure that you understand the rule? Oh, yes. If I don't know the answer, I say pass. Correct. That's it. Put another one up. <laughs> What sort of a game do you call this? Hard questions you asked me and I gave you proper answers. Listen, you got a mark every time he said correct. I should get a mark every time Will he says correct. you please return to your seat, Professor Yeah, but Wise. he's level with me now. He's level with me and he hasn't even answered the question correctly. But there's still one to go. The decider. Well, let's play by the rules, shall we? Professor Wise, for the last time, will you please return to your seat? This is a rotten game. <laughs> now, Mr. Morgan. because this is the final question, the question that will decide who is to be mastermind of 1974, I must ask you once and for all to obey the rules and give a proper answer. Ready when you are, Polly? Now, you do understand that if you cannot answer the question, you must say pass. I fully understand. All right. Here's the deciding question, and it's on geography. <laughs> it descends from Landy Kotal 
through Shinwaki territory to Landi Kana. It is the most important route from Afghanistan into Pakistan. It's the Khyber what? Pass. The Khyber Pass, correct. <laughs> Mr. Malcolm, you are mastermind 1974. Wait a minute, this isn't fair. This isn't right at all. Mr. McManus, I'll never watch you wrestle again.